Hello, my name is Katie Ziegler and I'm the Pre-K Coordinator for Fort Wayne Community Schools. Fort Wayne Community Schools Pre-K programs are recognized as some of the best early childhood programs in the United States. Not only do we teach your child the important academic skills they need, but we also focus on teaching them social, emotional, and self-help skills. Pre-K is a critical period for social development. Practicing these skills now will be crucial for your child for the rest of their lives. Now, here are some of our amazing pre-K teachers to tell you more about the social skills your child will learn in our pre-K program. Hi, I'm Wendy Giza King. I'm the preschool teacher at South Wayne Elementary. And I'm here to talk to you about preschool. Preschool is amazing and it is so important for your child. They will learn many foundations, including self-awareness and confidence. At school, we will really get to know your child by talking with you and interacting with them during projects and playtime. Your child will be in a, su a supportive environment where they will be encouraged to express their own thoughts and feelings and build confidence in communicating. We will learn about your child's interests in order to spark projects that will further their development about learning and everything in the world. In preschool, we will provide opportunities for your child to develop independence, like zipping their own coat, learning to follow a classroom routine, um, creating projects independently or with their peers. It will be a time for them to grow their own interests and begin to do things all on their own. Hi, I'm Rebecca Putt from Forest Park Elementary. I teach Title I Pre-K. In our Pre-K programs, we use play interactions to promote sharing, negotiation, and turn-taking. As you can imagine, conflicts sometimes happen. In our Pre-K classroom, we model proper interactions and we also allow kids to try to resolve the issues themselves. We use additional adult support when needed. You can promote this by teaching your child conflict resolution and by not interact, intervening right away, giving your child a chance to work out the issues on their own. Hi, I'm Cami Heidelberg. I'm the pre-K teacher at LaVon Scott, and I'm gonna to talk to you about sharing and taking turns. Um, sharing and taking turns is a life skill that we need to work with our kids on because it promotes fairness and compromise, um, how to negotiate with others, and to manage our emotions and life skills. So great ways to do this is to give time to practice these skills. So that includes reading books that are themed towards taking turns, um, taking turns with others, um, use positive encouragement when you see them taking turns, and to also be a good model. One great way that I like to promote that in the classroom is to play card games or other um, board games. So one game I like to start the year off is with Uno. So we're starting academic skills of numbers and colors, but then we're also taking turns. We're using our words. We're um, finding those matches. Um, another great way though, with our little ones to start is take out your wild cards. Um, they're not gonna understand these at the beginning. So once they understand the game, then you can start adding those wild cards back into play. Hello, my name's Megan Romery. I teach pre-K at Harrison Hill Elementary. And I wanted to let you guys know that when your child comes to pre-K, they will learn good hygiene. Um, they will be washing their hands uh, two to three times a day after going to the bathroom, um, after eating, before eating, after going outside. Anytime we make a mess, of course, we wash our hands afterward. Um, and so they will learn to wash their hands for 20 seconds. Um, using soap, making sure they see bubbles, um, turning off the water, remembering to turn off the water, and grabbing a paper towel. Um, they'll also learn how to blow their nose, um, put the tissue in the trash, um, go to the bathroom on their own. Of course, if they need help, um, I'm there to help them, but uh, yeah, just basic hygiene is super important pre-K, and it's like one of the first things we learn in the first couple weeks of school. Hi, my name is Janine Carto. I teach at Northcrest Elementary School. In pre-K, responsibility is an important skill to learn. Being responsible means taking care of your things, treating your things nicely, and putting away your things. In class, we hang up our book bag and coat. When we need them, we always know where they're at. Playing and exploring in class is fun. Playing with broken toys is not fun. So be careful with your toys and put them away when you're done. 
Remember to practice at home. Be careful with things, put toys away, clean up your messes, and you too can learn how to be responsible. Hi, my name is Kirsten Miller and I'm the preschool teacher at Brentwood Elementary. In preschool, your child will learn self-help skills. So these skills include um, tying their shoes, <laughs> zipping and unzipping their coats, as well as buttoning and unbuttoning their pants. It is important that your child masters these skills because it helps them become more independent students, both at home and at school. We all know that practice makes perfect, so the best way for you to support your incoming preschooler is by helping them practice. So this summer, you can help them practice both with the real things, so their real shoes, their jackets, or their pants, or by finding other hands-on activities to have them practice and have fun. So I just took a shoe string and put it through an egg carton, and you can practice on that. Anything that gets them practice will be great for them. We can't wait to see your kids. Hi, my name is Sarah Dick. I am the pre-K district coach for Fort Wayne Community Schools. And I'm gonna to talk to you today about speaking and listening skills with your pre-K students. These skills are very important for them to be successful when they go to pre-K. One of the things that, they, that you should work on with your students is using complete sentences when they request an item. So for example, if you ask your student, what do you want for lunch? Instead of them just saying sandwich, have them say, I would like a sandwich. And then add in those please and thank yous where, where appropriate. Another great thing is eye contact. Make sure they're making eye contact when they're speaking and listening to another person. Volume control is another great thing to work on. You don't want them talking so quiet that you can't hear them or so loud that it becomes bothersome to the listener. When you're playing with your student, with your pre-K student, make sure that you are talking to them, asking questions, wanting to know what they're doing and having them use those complete sentences back to you to get them using a lot of uh, vocabulary and speaking skills. And finally, work on doing multi-step directions with your student. So give them two or three steps that they need to complete. For example, if it's bedtime, say, I would like you to put on your pajamas and brush your teeth and make sure that they follow through with those things. All of these skills are great skills to practice with your pre-K students so they will be more successful for school in the fall. Hello, I'm Stacy Garner from Studi Elementary Pre-K. Today I'm gonna to talk about self-control and patience in the classroom. In the pre-K classroom, we um, have to learn how to take turns and share, raise our hand, and wait in a line. We use several activities at school to promote self-control and patience that you may also use at home. Um, for instance, you can play freeze, um, the freeze game to music. You can play red light, green light in the backyard. I suggest using timers and timely reminders so that children can learn to wait and they can actually visualize it. When you do have to wait, you can help your child figure out a way to pass the time, maybe read a book or sing a song. 